Hi everybody, I'm John Carlo. And I'm Felicia. And this is our review of Brilliance. Or Brilliance. Because that's the way. I see what they did there. You see? I see what you they know did. Uh, yeah, the I components know. are really that's freaky. Really cool. Go for it. Let me help I you like out. that it's very honey. I shrunk the kids. Here, I was watching Ant Man the other day. Oh. Oh my god, it's kind of tied into what you're talking about with the game. Usually you go off on tangents, but you're watching it, man. It's, it's pretty similar. John Carlo's magic mushroom patch. It's I been picture a while. You, I picture you being the troll in front of a, a mushroom patch. The troll? Like a troll, like, <laughs> you can't pass here. I'm John Carlo, I'm five feet tall. No? Wow. But I'll crush you with my words and insults. Uh, Les petits here. for me. Les petits for me. Actually, this is a Quebec game too. So they have a French version oh called God. Formidable. Get out of town. <laughs> <laughs> In Brilliance, players will control an ant colony and leading it to victory by completing objectives. For this review, we'll explain the advanced rules, and the board will be set here for three players. The objective cards are shuffled and revealed, and starting with the first player, he'll flip the Day-Night tile. Players will then draft a hand of eight special cards and discard their last two. These will be played at specific times for in-game effects or end-game scoring. Then, starting with the first player, players will take one type of ant per turn, farmer, hunter, or digger, until all players have chosen three and place them on their player board in the nest one space. Make sure the ants dial match the day or night side of the tile. You're now ready to play. When a player has completed their eighth objective card, we finish the round and the player with the most VPs wins. A round will consist of players taking turns. At the beginning of the round, spin the wind rows. This will tell you which ants moves an extra space this round according to the weather. Should it fall on here, the player will choose. On the active player's turn, they'll perform one action of these possible three. Move an ant, birth an ant, move a predator. An ant can move up to three spaces. The space nest one and the other one on the board are one and the same. When a hunter lands on a bug, they'll take the appropriate token. Farmers get the appropriate fruit token. These will be traded in later on for objectives scoring you points. When a token is taken, the player will either place an empty token on the board where it was taken from, or a pheromone token if it's adjacent to your nest hole or another pheromone token already in play. These will score 1 VP at the end game, as denoted by this gold leaf here. Also, no ant may cross a space containing another player's pheromones or ant. Diggers will stop at the first soil space they enter. They'll take the appropriate soil token and place a beige tile here. These score no points. Should they dig one of the top two holes, they'll also place the appropriate nest hole here and on the board. But to do this, they need to place the nest token three spaces away from another token or your nest hole and must be placed on a space containing a pheromone, your ant or an empty space. Lastly, going to the library will make you take an objective card of the type of ant in the library, provided you have the resources to fill the objective. If so, turn those in, take the card and move a number of VPs as listed here, and replace the card. In any case, after an ant moved, make sure to turn the dial. They can only activate the next round. When birthing an ant, take the available tile and place the same type ant into the queen's room. You can only do this once per turn. To get to the next one space, it will require the newborn one move, so in effect losing a movement point. Lastly, to move a predator, Simply turn your disc this side and move one of the predators. The spider can move to any space on the board and remove a bug there by placing an empty token. The grasshopper does the same with fruits and the worm does the same on any player's board, removing the soul there, except from the top row. When all players have activated all their ants, birth and move the predator, flip the day-night tile to the other side, giving it to the next player. Flip your predator tiles and a new round begins. Continue until the end of the round in which a player completed their 8th objective card. We then go to final scoring. All players will count their pheromones on the board as well as their nest holes as they'll give you each 1 VP. Lastly, the player with the most types of objectives will gain the card which gives them a 3 VP bonus. The player with the most VP wins. 
The first thing that pops up from Brilliance are the components. Not only are they numerous in quantity, but they are just good in the quality department. The artwork is very suitable as well. Because even at the most advanced settings, which is what we showed you in the review, the game is definitely geared for family. But experienced gamers might find it a little underwhelming. As much as it says the advanced version is more cutthroat, truth of the matter is most players will farm their corner of the map and diggers can only dig their own nest. For sure, there is player interaction with racing for objective cards, but in terms of blocking them, either in resource or getting the type of birthing tile, the effects didn't seem that detrimental. So a half point in the department. This I find also gives only a half score to tactics. Strategy is definitely there in terms of getting the objectives to get to the bonus. But we did feel for what the game offers, the rounds can get a little long for another half point penalty. The game has different species cards, giving each player a special ability if you choose to play with them. And the different difficulty levels are great for a family starting out in a little step above a gateway type game. How long you'll play the game is another matter entirely, giving it another half point only on replay value. Brilliance gets a 7 out of 10. Subscribe now to our channel to stay in the loop. If you like our work, help us continue by sharing the channel to your gaming group. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.